just finished putting drip line in uh, our smallest pumpkin patch. Uh, this is four rows. They're about 95 feet long. Uh, I've been running it for a little while to test it out. So I just wanted to go over that and I'll show you real quick uh, how I built this thing uh, and how it works for our off-grid watering system. Uh, we don't have utilities out here at the property. There's no running water, no electricity. Uh, so we, we carry water out here to water with. Anyway, this is the first of four pumpkin patches. Uh, seeds went in the ground a few days ago. Uh, put this PVC drip line in, made that. So what we have uh, for the four rows, it's a half inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe and just drilled a bunch of holes in it uh, all the way through with a uh, 0.4 millimeter. I think that's the size drill. It's a real small drill bit. Uh, and as you can see, it just kind of just dribbles out the water. Uh, some of the holes, uh, based on how the pipe's running, this isn't super level here. So the higher ones, or I'm sorry, the, the lower ones and the ones closer to where the water's coming from, they're actually shooting the water out a little bit. So it doesn't water uh, evenly, but it's doing good enough. So all these runs, uh, the, the four long ones, that they're half inch. Uh, they're just capped at, at the ends. Uh, then this main line they branch off of is three quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, just T fittings. Uh, three quarter inch hose adapter right there. And then to get our water, we come back and we move it out here with IBC totes and 30 gallon barrels. So for now, I'm just leaving it on the trailer until I need to use the trailer for something else. The tractor can lift it. Uh, we came out today with the full tote. It was 330 gallons. Uh, we're down to uh, about 200 left in it. So that little bit, even though the ground still looks pretty dry, has 130 gallons in it. So up here, how this works is we have the Harbor Freight 12-volt DC pump. And just run that off of uh, one of our vehicles. Uh, I attach it to the feed line that comes with it, this uh, handle, just to, to keep the hose da down at the bottom where, where I want it. It's just zip tied on there. But that's pretty much how it works. Pump works pretty good. It's rated at 190 gallons an hour. Uh, with a hose and some pressure on it, you don't get quite that much. But uh, it, it's almost the same as city water pressure coming out of the hose. So that little pump does pretty good. And it'll run for hours and hours. It gets awful hot. Uh, but it, it, it seems to be okay. So as we go down and look at one of our lines, once you hear, hear closer to the source, this is right where the water's coming in. So this is probably what gets the best water pressure. Uh, these holes are actually making like a little fountain. So I probably need to close a couple of them off. They get a little bit too much. And then as we come down, You can see some of the holes, you know, they, they just barely trickle. You know, they're, they're just barely leaking. So it, it's not real consistent yet. I need to get this pipe a little bit more level. Uh, the other thing I can do is put in a valve. Right now I'm running all four of these lines at once. Uh, I can put in a valve in the middle to where I'm just feeding two lines and two lines. That would give more pressure on the two lines that are running. Uh, it'll take the same amount of time either way, but I might get a little, little more even in my watering. You can see I get down here, I get into a low spot. I have a lot more water coming out. And I move over here to where it's a little bit higher. And there's just hardly hardly any at all. In fact, right here, you know, the, the ground just right under the pipe is just damp. I'm just getting, you know, just a few drips here and there. So that this whole section right here isn't getting any water at all. And then as we move down, ground's just a little bit lower and the water's back to trickling out. So anyway, just want to take a minute, go over that, uh, show everybody uh, how, how we're watering our pumpkins out here. Uh, right now we could do it just with a hose. That, that's what we did the first time when we planted the seeds. We just watered them all by hand with a hose using that same system with the uh, 30 gallon barrels, the IBC tote, and that little Harbor Freight uh, DC pump. Uh, that worked pretty well, but once we have plants coming up uh, and, and they start spreading out and we get leaves everywhere and they start growing, we're not going to be able to, to drag a hose in there and water that way. So we'll need something else to, 
to get water to these things when we have it. So thanks for watching.